Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayson and thank you very much for joining me. Viewing the Australian dollar, the market was relatively bearish yesterday after the market took the challenge through 63 cents and nearly pulled the trigger at 62.60. After posting a low of 51, the market has rebounded just in front or around that level. Not quite getting the pull to the downside. The market is still a little bit hesitant in terms of how we're set up for the moment. I do expect any advances to fail towards the region of 63, 50, 55 after we did see a brief print there this morning. Overall, I'm still holding the view that 62.60 will break and eventually look towards 61.70 and with the objective holding around 58.40.60. There is a lot of work to do on the upside and if we do clear 63.50.55, the market still has to clear after the rejection level around 64.40.45, which is seen as the 60-day simple moving average and also with the broad downtrend, I do anticipate the bears will remain for quite some time. The euro is still relatively soft and looking towards the target at the moment around 108.15 and down to the objective of 107.35. While the dollar index still relatively holding firm around 100.36 keeps the bears for the euro to continue to the downside. Little to report for dollar yen as it still continues to trade sideways or consolidates above the level of 106, 60, 60, 60, 70. But technically, it's still bearish. And therefore, I do anticipate the market to take out 107.30 and crush the level of 106.60. Eventually reach the objective of 105 figure 40 area and reassess from there. Any advances should still find a cap around 108.25 viewing from the intraday. Overnight, well, if we've been trading from the short side, op traders got the opportunity to take the vantage from the break of 123.70 as we fell quite heavily towards 122.46, that is, to the low, and nearly claiming the target of 121.60.70. From the technicals, we've not actually quite broken down, so therefore that's in favour of the bears as the target of 121.60 may not be the low, and we could be even looking lower towards 118. But let's take one step at a time, reassess from 121.60, and if it still remains bearish, then I'll be looking lower. Dollar CAD, well, with the oil breaking down rather significantly, is that the momentum has come back for this pair. Now, we're not quite broken over the level of 142.20, but it's still challenging this region. I'm a little bit cautious in calling the upside, as I still feel the market will turn around. But from a technical point, the MACD is a bit concerning. And if we do clear 142.20, then we may see a short squeeze up to 142.80.90 and reassess from there. Well, since the break of the uptrend for uh, gold, we actually saw further weakness coming into play overnight and took the challenge to the downside and managed to print a low of 1,661 before turning around. It is assessed that further weakness may come into play and we could still be looking towards this region of 1,640 as the technicals are still remaining somewhat bearish. Finishing up with oil, well I'd like to say from the break of 20 gives me a neutral view because the market still continues to be relatively heavy. After taking on the challenge to the downside, the market dropped close to 60% overnight. And from the move down, you can see that we briefly hit a low somewhere around $9.90. But because it's a future, there is a lot of speculation on what the low was. So if you're, we're looking at the June uh, contract, that's the most active at the moment, then that hit a 21 year low. And if we look at the May contract, that actually fell 306% and went to a minus 37.63. That making the first time in history 
for a futures contract to go negative, but that expired yesterday, so we are now looking at the June contract. From a technical point, as I say, I'm going to sit out because this is just way too whipsawed at the moment and very much uncertain to where we can go. So neutral for now. You can see how it turns out later on this week. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report. I hope you enjoy the great start to this new day.